Los Angeles, California, February 21, 1935. Joe Lewis versus Lee Ramos. Jolting Joe on his way up the ladder and about scheduled for 10 rounds. This is a return bout. Lewis having stopped Ramage in eight rounds, December 14, 1934, in Chicago. In that bout, Ramage was ahead on points when after being down four times, a towel came fluttering into the ring from Ramage's corner. Referee Phil Collins stepped in and stopped the fight. It was held at the stadium in Chicago, and now Ramage has insisted on this return fight feeling that he can beat Joe Lewis. We'll find out whether or not he can in just a few moments. The referee is Lieutenant Commander Jess Kenworthy, who incidentally was second in command of the ill-fated Nathan. Young Joe Lewis coming out to meet Lee Ramage. Ramage, 24 years of age. Six feet, one inch tall, weighs 184 pounds. Lewis, 194. There are few men who sought a second bout against Joe Lewis. Lee Ramage is one of those. Ramage comes out of Avila, California, managed by Hot Hubley. Lewis not wasting any time. Ramage forced to hold on. Backing off against the jolting left jabs of Joe Lewis. Shooter at solid left jab, saving that right hand punch most of the time for the decisive blow. Stolid, impassive, stalking. This is the Joe Lewis on the way up to becoming one of the greatest champions of all time. Good right hand. Ramage's knees seem to buckle in. first round. It's a scheduled 10 rounder. Those jolting left hands being on the cut down, Lee Ramage. Ramage's game. Lewis, 10 pounds heavier, seemingly much the stronger. Still stalking Ramage. That right hand is always cocked, ready to go. Good left hook that time by Joe Lewis. There's that right hand. Down goes Ramage. He's flat on his back. He's sitting up. He's checking the count with Kenworthy. Waiting for the full count, now he's up. And Lewis comes right after him.
Lee Ravage in deep trouble. Joe Lewis trying to measure him. Down he goes with a solid 